And you, and you ask a person about their friends and their boys today, people are ready to die for these people. Go and sit in prison for a week and see how many of your boys come to visit you. Go and fight a, case, a you know, court case and see who comes to pay for it. Your friends are your friends, they're never more than that. So be careful whenever one of you choose your friends. And nowadays, what is it? It's all about the boys. It's all about the boys. Ask the youngsters. It's all about the boys and the gangs. And you know, oh, he's one of my boys. Yeah, he's one of your boys. Like I said, go and sit in prison. And have a look how many of your boys come to visit you. I had a brother from around this area actually. He was a revert to this dean. And he came to me on one Eid. And he was upset. He goes, I can't believe it. He goes, this is my second time in prison. And he goes, you know what? They couldn't even send me an Eid card. Boys. Boys. These were his boys. They didn't have that much inside them to send him an Eid card. And we were ready to die for these people. We sacrifice everything for these people. To such an extent, we sacrifice our parents for these guys. You and me, we do this all the time. You know what? Your mom might ask you to do something. You're like, you know what? Mom, I'm, I'm busy. I'm with next, you know, with uh, whoever in Muhammad. Or I'm going out with somebody. I'm going here. Or mom, I've got plans. And you're ready to go with your boys. You're ready to leave with your boys. This is the life that we live. People are married nowadays. They have children and wives and they're at home. And a guy comes and bonks the horn outside. He's gone in a jiffy. He didn't even look back. He's sitting in that car, they've gone around some corner, smoking some pot, or whatever it is. Some people don't need to do this. Some people just like to hang out with their boys. But how can you do this when you disrespect those who love you the most? I asked those same people. I said, guys, where are your boys? No, we don't have any boys. And you know what they said to me? They said the only people that supported us through our sentence was our parents. Subhanallah. The only people. So it was that same old man who you used to hate. The man you had no time for. That came to your court cases. That paid for your legal stuff. That came and supported you. That sent you postal orders when you didn't have a penny to your name. And you think about your friends.